The premise of this video is pretty simple. If I die, I switch games. Every game will be given its own challenge. If I fail the challenge, I also swap games. Let's begin. Yep, Fallout 4. Today we're going to be playing with only the double shot shotgun. We made ourselves look gorgeous. How's my little- oh. Yeah, I traded him in for a Butterfinger. Good deal, actually. I awaited the arrival of Vault Tech, got shy and hid in the laundry room, and was finally ready to uh, greet the man. Well, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. No, oh, no worries, sir. No worries at all. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No. <clears throat> you do. Go. Away. I did my best to make Doom Guy by putting all my points into strength, endurance, and agility. Also naming myself Doom Guy. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. Well, I'd be whining too if you changed me with that clamp. God knows what horrible events happened in that room. Alrighty, stop whining. Can I go now? Move out my way. I want to go watch TV. Fine, I'll go turn on this stupid thing. Happy? God. Let me go watch some game or something. You can move that up. Uh How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? You bitch! Let Sorry I'm late, Codsworth. My wife wouldn't let me watch the game. What'd I miss? Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh, great. I just sat down. All of a sudden, there's nukes. Can a man not relax for two minutes? You never signed up for the vault. Ah, you're gonna die. Good luck, ma'am. And God help us all. Did did you just call you me ma'am? Anyways. Me. You. Oh my god! Thanks, Deborah, for pointing at the nuke. I think we fucking know this. I had a horrible nightmare. <laughs> Who cares about my wife? But why'd they have to steal my mother finger? Due to the challenge being double shotgun only, we can only Wakanda forever our way out of the vault, making sure not to kill any of the rad roaches. You can easily get around them by shutting the door behind you. I'm not entirely sure how this pit boy still has power, but you know what? I'll take it. While the incredibly slow door opens, we play with our bone. Even though we're supposed to be Doom God, the 100 years we spent down here would have definitely made us incredibly thin. Oh, by the way, I got a Doom suit mod. Of course, we're going to be playing with a cosplay suit that adds absolutely nothing, while all these other really cool suits just sit here. So this is just going to be fun. We get the double barrel that's not called a double shotgun that I've been calling it for some stupid reason right at the start because of the mod. However, it doesn't change the shotgun at all, and we would have gotten it anyways from the first group of raiders. We are careful to sneak around Codsworth. Under a random baby's crib, there's a safe lock, which we pick, and then for whatever reason, just has a silver tablespoon. They really admire their tablespoons, I guess. We encounter our first real enemy. We make sure to play it safe by shooting it. Turns out it's just a dog, but you know, just to be safe. Since the dog was able to take those bullets like it was nothing, then obviously it's Doom Guy's dog, okay. so we take him along with us. I, for whatever reason, tried my best to give the dog rat poison. Instead, I opt to give it my best suit of armor, which it just magically disappears as I give it to the dog. I have no idea where it, the dog put it at. We're attacked by mole rats, which it instantly becomes every man for himself. Alright, bloatfly, it's time for you to meet your maker. God damn it, I don't have a recording of me talking while actually playing right here. However, I do remember just narrating everything as if it was a badass story. I just look like an idiot. After the raiders were dealt with and this guy's clothes was ripped off, we can go save the Minutemen. Oh, you're done for now, buddy. God damn it. Hey, don't hit my dog. What the hell, man? Seriously, where did I find this dog at? He's mad at a wall right now. Oh, thank God I'm starving. Dandy boy apples, lad kit. Who put a skull in the fridge? Where's the last guy at? Oh. Hmm. Hey, dog meat. Hey, you want to help me with something? Go in there. Go check that out. Just, just step right in there, dog meat. Oh, I, 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 he's not in there. Hey, dog meat, you want to help me with something? Yeah, dog meat, I just need you to go right there. in there.
We meet the Minuteman with a great first impression. After bullying Mama Murphy for a second, turns out she got some hands and is ready to throw down. Everyone else is also included into this fight, so it's completely unfair, so I book it for the door. Turns out that the raiders didn't spawn, so now I need to go make up with them to get them spawning in and stuff, yeah. No one's mad at me anymore except for Preston. I guess he holds a grudge. Mama Murphy, I'm sure that this is a nice, engaging conversation, but I'm being shot right now! Now's not the time for conversation! Oh yeah, y'all wanna shoot me? Well, guess what? I'ma shoot Jun Long! Isn't it strange how I remember jumping off this very building multiple times over in all of my other playthroughs without power armor, yet this time I die? Well, anyways, next game. Doom 3. Never properly playing this game before, I decided to go fist only. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Hey, what you watching there, bud? Oh, God, you like those type of YouTubers? What a loser. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Well, that sucks for you, because I got it all day, bud. Finally. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh, God, I really need to use the bathroom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, fine. You can be on your Excuse way. Me. Okay, get out of my way. Jeez, man. I just gotta take a shit. Oh, come on. He didn't even flush. I swear, this place is like a giant maze. I have no idea where to go. And oh. Aren't you conveniently useless? Took his sweet time, Marine. Basically, this guy wants me to follow that little spider drone thingy to find someone. When you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Oh, you can count on me, sir. I met up with some guy who gave me some weapons and armor. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot him. Yeah, you little weak boy, yeah. Oh my god! Even in death, he's still trying to riz me up. Uh... Nothing! Jeez! Hmm... I wonder... I know I already died, I just want to play a little bit more for the hell of it. Huh? No, no! You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. He built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. I can't hold these levels. Oh, you really think you're gonna shoot at me? Huh? Let me show you how we do it down south, boy. Yeah, eat shit. I'll find whoever did this to you. I forgot your name. And I'll avenge your death. Dodge and weave, boy. Dodge and weave. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot. Boop. As it was suggested, we're gonna be playing Doom 3 with only my fists. Of course, the game has heard me, so I was chained naked to a table. Dave asked for a little tip, I declined. And we got our hands on the first useless item of the run. Of course, we can't use it normal way, but bashing it against enemy skulls also works. While I was still naked, Olivia's ghost decided to walk in. And she started talking about butt stuff, so I desperately tried to get out of there. We finally got our hands on some clothing. And then entered our first wave of enemies. It seemed like two punches was all it took to get a glory kill, so this area wasn't too difficult. Then it was time for our first actual real wave of enemies, where some enemies take longer than two punches to take out. If it wasn't for sweet glory kills and the heals around the map, I would have surely died here. You know what? We're going off of census rules. Grenades are allowed, purely because I know those bigger enemies are going to mess me up without them. Whoa, bro, those are some nice jays. You should check them out. You'd think just having 
having played this game with only a pistol, I'd be able to get past a huge section of the game without dying. Of course, that was ultimately my downfall. You see, Doom 2016 has a perk that makes it where explosive barrels don't kill you. I had this perk for a majority of the playthrough of Doom 2016 with only a pistol. Which is exactly why I ran straight into explosive barrels without thinking anything of it, and whenever enemies shot it, I died. Well, that was... I'm happy this is over with, actually. Doom 1. All I have recorded is this 3 second clip of me already dead. Way to go. Ah, Doom 64 with only a pistol. Everything was going well until I accidentally picked up a chainsaw, which I guess means I lose my pistol privilege. After groaning at a wall, we eventually die. Without weapons, this game becomes a lot harder. After seeing a fourth of a speed run and thinking, yeah, I could do that, we go into Doom 2 as a pacifist. The demons must be racist to humans because they fuck my ass six ways from Sunday. And just like that, we beat the first level. Turns out the speedrun's actually harder when you do it in person. Got absolutely obliterated here. With bunny in hand, I set the difficulty to extra lives mode because I thought it was funny. The extra lives mean absolutely nothing. If I die, I die. After I think we were just tripping major balls, it turns out we're actually in space observing what happened to Earth. But my bigger concern is, what happened to the moon? Why did the demons destroy the moon? What the hell did the moon do? Much like me in Minecraft, when I find a cool looking mountain, Doomguy had to build a little tower on it. It is he that they feared, not man, or his armies. They feared the mark of the beast. God damn it, this looks so cool until your hairline decided to make a surprise appearance. Any gun except for the combat shotgun, unmodified, is outlawed. I'm allowing myself everything else though because it's not guns. Eventually, we are forced to get a weapon mod upgrade. However, you can just immediately unequip this weapon mod, so it doesn't really matter. The first fight is obviously incredibly easy. After kicking down a door, we get an opportunity to lose our virginity, which we do not pass up on. Don't worry about Scrawny here, he enjoyed it. Oh god, I need to get that checked out. Sorry about that, man. Well, I mean, I can still use you. We did a bit of a superhero landing, found someone who got really freaky, and celebrated getting a new toy. We did meet the hardest enemy yet. No, not the imp. That thing. We luckily got two barrels next to it. We played around the world with a shotgun, which is played in most American schools. And then we Isaac newton his ass. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how- We passed up a different gun, and then found an extra life we can't use. And now we have to take out another Olivia wannabe. Quick question, have you ever flew before? They grow up so fast. I found another extra life I can't use. This is Sparta! Time to use my grippers for something other than that ass. We did encounter another Olivia wannabe. The only way we managed to survive this encounter was by picking off the little guys. We easily take out Kako demons using the grenade. Uh, boop! Oh god, that's disgusting. This room wasn't really anything special. If you were wondering why I'm allowing everything other than other guns except for the shotgun, this is why. After missing a grenade, it almost leads to my death, but I was able to just manage to get the Kako Demon in time. We enter into the real first big encounter of the first level. We have multiple Kako Demons. But, you know, that doesn't really matter, as we're more focused on getting that extra life that's completely useless to us. After a, uh, lot of close calls, we're able to finally go outside. We wasted a bit of time and health getting another extra life thing that we can't use. We had another battle with a Olivia wannabe, but we ended off the fight with a nice amount of health. We were then told to go to hell, and, well, we did. Okay, this is my chance. I gotta look really, really cool and scary. Alrighty, here we go. In my attempt to look cool, they just kept making fun of my hairline, so much so that they even got their boss to come in and laugh at me. I promptly left after this. When I returned to base, I had one thing on my mind. 
getting revenge on everyone who made fun of my haircut. But for now, it's just upgrade time. We got the flame belt so I can ignite them on fire. We then had to use a sentinel crystal. I of course used it on ammo. We waste no time grabbing an extra life that we still cannot use. I denied the game's request to get another gun. We then had a very long and difficult battle with the big guy. By long and difficult, I mean I chainsawed him in half. We then unlocked the blood punch ability. We were then able to get our hands on a rune. I decided to get the one that allows me to stay alive after I take a fatal blow. This resets on death, so I should only be able to use it once. I got my hands on another extra life that I still cannot use. I'm not sure why I'm collecting these. While in the middle of a fight for a split second, I could see Jesus. I managed to just be able to escape his grasp with a glory kill. With a mixture of blood punches and grenades, I'm able to take out Kako demons easily. I completely butchered their name. Another Olivia fanboy showed up, easily taken down with a mixture of grenades, blood punches, and a shotgun around the world. I had some fun at the adult merry-go-round. Decided to finally see what was up there. It's nothing but black. And we got another useless one-up. We then enter into the most romantic room where the candles light up as we follow the path. I was then forced to pledge the bro code where I had to wear socks and say no homo at the end. He informed me that my wow wow wubsy socks was not going to cut it and I actually had to put on a normal pair of socks. I wasn't going to take this so I just completely left. Before I left I hit him with my last bit of riz to show him what he missed out on. Turns out I just rizzed up a chair. And out of embarrassment, I went back to the chair to finish what I started. I earned another useless one up from this. And he shoots! And he fucking misses! This is why I'm always picked last for dodgeball! And... Damn it! I somehow managed to completely miss the portal, which was kind of embarrassing going back. I hope no demon saw that. We denied the game's relentless attempts to give us a different gun. This channel is for stupid challenges, not busting a fat nut, which is exactly why I will be blurring out all of the tentacle monsters. I want you all to know that I risk going back through the tentacle things just to get this extra life that I still can't use. After pulling a maneuver only a dead Avenger would use, we didn't have a way through. I then destroyed this big dude's gut- not like that, not like that! After exiting a random hole in him, we leave with a bit of trauma. We're able to last two rounds and destroy his guts again- oh, God damn it, not like that! We got an armor upgrade that also unlocked loot magnet. I jumped through 1000 volts of electricity for another extra life that I still cannot use. I met some old guy, but he was trying to tell me his entire life story and I was already out of there. I risked getting put into a pool full of lava for another extra life I can't use. We then enter into the hardest fight of this entire run. I say that because I got absolutely destroyed. After dying for the first time, I thought that my perk enabled, however it didn't. Turns out you have to run out of all extra lives before that happens, so it was completely useless to me. At least this run wasn't for completely nothing. Look, I'm not happy about it either, and I know that there was a poll that said specifically not to do this either, but here we are. The rest of the video is just this, so if you want, you can go watch a different one. Not really expecting anyone to stick around after this. Oh, oh, you're still- okay. Well, the challenge is green weapons only, and that includes heals. I would say where we landed, but to this day, I still have no fucking idea. The team consists of someone who plays this game too much, a coward, and yours truly. Upon landing, we immediately forget the challenge and grab a bunch of weapons that we can't use. Don't worry, we don't actually use any of them. It's truly a sad moment whenever I realize I can't use a majority of my inventory. After someone already broke the challenge and used heals that weren't green, we decided to just get the heal rule off the table. Fuck. Good thing no one's actually watching this right now. Well, I steal their heals and use them. We absolutely refuse to take a car ride with the disgusting filth, so we just decide to walk it.
I almost run right off of a cliff, or I do, but save myself. And that guy also almost falls up with fuck. And here's where we run into the first group of people all game. Of course, it's a robot, and I decided to shoot it multiple times over, pissing it off. And now we enter into our first actual fight. Of course, me being the main character in this little story, I have to be the one to take out everyone and come out on top. I never said I was good at the game. I think this will give you a really good comparison of the team we were working with here. At no point at all were we actually going to win this. I mean, look at this. Would you call this epic gameplay? He died to an extinct animal. So, you actually watched through that for some reason. Well, if you liked it, you can go watch another video. I swear to God, Fortnite will never end up on this channel again. And uh, I hope you don't have other to play on, bitch.